Hello and welcome back to the Aqua Masters Hardcore Challenge. This is episode 4 and of course straight away there is a Slylandro probe in the way. Um, here we go in deep space, look at that lovely planet. Looks like a nice place to destroy a Slylandro probe. We Let's talk to it. Peace. I'm not sure about that my friend. I'm not sure about that at all. Mission description follows. Traverse space reporting data. Seek materials for replication. Replicate to expand scope of mission. Contact life forms in peaceful manner. After 10 replications, return to point of origin. End of mission description. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component materials. They just never learn these probes. I just don't understand what it's like to be destroyed. Um, so I'm going to have to teach them again. Hopefully one time they will learn, but I don't think so. The mechanical constructs, they've been programmed, they, they're not sentient, they're just... Look, look at them just sort of wiggling around. Obviously, very artificial movement going on there. There's no human involved. There's no, there's no species, there's no, no biology. And even their crew, I mean their crew, you can see, their crew points are in grey to signify that. You know, they're obviously those two those those two people on the left and the right there, um, just just firing thunderbolts to uh, continue to control this out of control two four one eight dash B and uh, due to that it's been destroyed. And it's another win for Fwifo in his uh Spathia Luda. He used to be called the Discriminator, Star Control One. Don't know why the name was changed. But um, it is now called the Spathaluda. Maybe it was actually different. Maybe it's a completely different class, different model. I don't know. But uh, that's it. it used to be called the Discriminator. It's the only ship to have changed name between games as well, which is interesting. So here we go. Here's another. Uh, here's another Slylandro. And again, it uh, is. It says we come in peace. I don't think that's true. So I'm just going to ask a question. Replication, data gathering, contacting alien life forms in peaceful manner. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component materials. I'm starting to get tired of these probes now. Definitely want to get to. I can't wait to get to Beta Corvi and get the uh, the probe destruct sequence because that will be amazing. Once we can just not have to worry about probes anymore, we can just hit the self-destruct button, or not the self-destruct button, oh god, we don't want to press that. Um, once we transmit the destruct code to all the probes, we good. We can get uh, these probes out of the way and we won't have to keep destroying them all the time. As Fifo has just demonstrated to us once again with his Mirage friend on the right, or the left even. His name was probably Snellope. The Ghost of Snellope. Um, who will not properly feature in this let's play unfortunately. Snellope of course was the great uh, spathy leader who destroyed Lord 17 but Lord 17 came back to life um, in the final battle against Sarmatra so you know maybe back for revenge but in the end I mean the Shamur had him so you know it wasn't like uh, he actually killed Snellope or anything because at the end of the day Snellope did not draw the short tapoon stick so he got the better end of the deal. So here's another Slylandro. Um or another probe, 2418-B. Replication status, eight replications. Next replication 85% complete. Estimated replication since departure from point of origin. 583 replications. Estimated replications projected one year from this date. 14,784 replications. Estimated replications projected five years from this date. 45,786,412 replications. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component materials. Now, I haven't, um, I can't remember what they said to us in the original game, uh, in the original Let's Play, but I don't know, maybe if you, um, I'm not sure, I, I doubt it actually, because it did seem quite smooth, the, the narrations, because normally when they say custom, like, numbers, you can sort of hear the numbers sort of juddering along, but, um, I wonder if you speak to the Slandra probes at different times, and they give you, like, different figures for how many there'll be? I'm not sure that would be true, because I don't think there'd be 8 million on the map at any point. I'm not sure, maybe, maybe there are, but I, I'm pretty sure that would maybe lag out the game a little bit. Um, but I wonder if those numbers do change depending on how far you are through the game, because I can't remember 
what they were in the last game, but something tells me that they don't change. Be interesting to know. Um, either way, those numbers are going to be one smaller after uh, after after Fuifo once again destroys Islandro Pro. Getting pretty good at this now is Fuifo because he he's starting to gain some confidence. He's uh, he's different from other Spathy. He's actually got the confidence to actually go out there, fight, use the uh, the missiles, to take anything down, and uh, he is the greatest leader of all time. And here is another probe, I guess. Yep, and a lovely planet, nice green one. Um, yep, I bet. Regardless of what I say, you'll just attack. Priority set at point of origin. Behavior follows dictated priorities. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component materials. Now, to be honest, I'm not really sure how they came to that answer from my original, um, from what I originally said. It'd be interesting to, I mean, I think it'd be funny if they said something like, um, you know, we will not attack you, and then they, uh, and then just do straight away. But, whatever. Um, because some of the times they, they say stuff and it doesn't really make any sense, you know, they sort of just say random figures and things like that and how they work and things. I guess, I guess that's meant to, um, be... Unless you haven't worked it out yet, it's meant to be um, just sort of clues to the fact that it's just the uh, the code breaking down or the code being wrong inside the probes and they're not meant to do that. Uh, but I'm not really sure. Um, it seems that way. It seems as if they're trying to, um, uh, you know, tell the player um, in some way or another that there's uh, their priorities are wrong or something. And there's obviously, you know, there's obviously something wrong as soon as they say. Um, you know, do not attack, and then they attack you straight away. But at the same time, if you've met the Umgar already, you wouldn't trust races that you find first off, because they're a pretty tricksy bunch themselves. Because um, that's what I originally thought. When I, fir when I, um... We come in peace. When I started to learn about these probes, I thought it was the Umgar that had made them all go wrong. Um, when I met the Umgar. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component materials. Yeah, so so what I you know what I mean is that I I, I learnt quite quickly that there was something wrong with the probes and uh, then I met the Umgar. I can't remember what episode. I think it was it was earlier on definitely than meeting the Slalandro. So I thought that after meeting the Umgar and knowing that they had um, they were just like really strange guys. Of course, at the time I didn't know. I don't think. I completely forgot about the Dinyari having an effect on them, but either way, I'd I'd assumed that the Ungar had tampered with the probes and made them attack us um, at first. But then when I met this, when I met the Slalandro, went down the narration route of like explaining how um, they just coded it wrong and Sullen Plummet, or whatever his name was, was a bit of a dingus, and he uh, he mucked up code and he set the priority to 999 on replication. Was it Sullen Plummet or who was the other guy? Forever, what was his name? I can't remember. We'll talk to him soon. Ooh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter really. It's just, they're probably going to just say the same thing again. Um, okay. Um, another probe to take down. Um, their they're, 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 uh, cockpit view looks really strange because they're, they're like forever turning because. Because of the way the Slalandro Pro works, they don't really have... Their inertia is a little bit strange. They sort of like... Oh, that was a really quick win as well. That was really good. Um, because they sort of travel in like all the time at the same speed in a straight line, the, when the computer's trying to turn like at a very like precise angle towards you, and obviously because other ship... Because um, in Urko Masters, of course, you can only turn 16 directions, but your inertia has a lot of direction. You know, your inertia can be pretty much anywhere. Go, make you go in any sort of with any velocity. So when the probe's trying to like angle in on you, it sometimes looks a little bit glitchy on the uh, on the cockpit. But goodbye. And good riddance. I've never seen that one before. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component materials. But unfortunately, it uh, ends all too much the same way. Uh, in the Slandro probe getting very angry at us for some unknown reason and, uh, and trying to attack us. So, um, 
Yeah, as I was saying, as you can see, the the uh, the view of the Slalandro, like the left and right, they're trying to turn left and right like constantly all the time. And because the computer is doing it so quickly, it looks like they're going in a sort of straight line, but in essence, they're actually turning really, really, really quickly, like in different directions, um, and sort of sort of very, very quickly wiggling towards us, like sort of a uh, a very high energy ray, high energy photon. Um, Oh, are we going to get there? Yes, we are. We are here at Gamma Sakini, finally. God, that was a really long journey. It took us an episode or two. Well, probably probably not an episode. But it took us a while to get there. And uh, and here we are. We're finally at Gamma Sakini. Now, the planet I want to go to, I think, is this one over here. Yes. Um, we've got 11 fuel left, so it's not long until we want to go and meet the, slide, the Mount Norme again. Or at least the Melnor may come to us, and I just missed the planet. Oh, oh, oh! It was because my uh, my up key wasn't being held down there for some reason. I think I, um, I don't know, something weird happened there. But whatever. Um, this is the planet, planet five. This has quite a lot of biodata on it actually. Um, so we're collecting a good amount of biodata each time, um, which is quite good. Tectonics this time rather than weather, which I like. I really hate weather with biodata because a lot of the time when you're destroying biodata, or at, at least with the sort of like. Um, Still standing by this, like the ones on this planet. Mm -hmm. Oh god, I lost a couple of crew. That was annoying, actually. But with weather, you sort of um, you sort of just take a tiny bit of damage, and you don't have the you don't have the, uh, the reason with those tiny bits of damage to sort of leave and reload because it just seems like a really small amount of damage. But eventually, like the amount of damage that you take over time when you're collecting the biodata, like each time you get hit by weather, you just gets whittled and whittled down and then eventually you have to reload so it takes a lot more time for you to realize it's a good time to reload with the tectonics at least um, you know you just take an absolute ton of damage straight away so like if you say okay it's time to reload now so you, you could be a lot more sure of when to reload and it's also a lot easier to dodge the tectonics when you're going distances as well so you can sort of see them approach and then you can sort of try to get around them sometimes they are very difficult to dodge because it's just sort of you, it just sort of appears right in front of you now the actual answer to, to when it does appear right in front of you is to actually just st stay still. But of course a lot of people try to maneuver out the way and I do that a lot all the time. I only very rarely am able to keep myself stopping. And if you just stop then you wait for the uh, the, the earthquake to pass and then you and then you go on your way. Um, but most of the time I try to like sort of turn and I, ob I obviously just sort of end up running into it when it explodes and take an absolute ton of damage. But what can you do? You just have to reload the game and uh, try again. Try not to be as unlucky, because it is quite unlucky when things like that happen. When, when the game sort of presents impossibly difficult um, obstacles in your way. But it looks like we've got another uh, slender problem. The quasi portal you can see just above us there, just north, or whatever direction. Oh my God! It's the Aralu Lile instead of the Slanjo. Oh my God! Let's talk to these guys. The Aralu. Hello, my little one. I am so pleased to see you. You have done well for yourself. It is gratifying. I really like the uh, precursor remix on this song, actually. It's, it's one of my favorites. Um, we know who you are. You're the Aralu. Oh, what happened to you guys? Clever. Yes, I am Arilu Lalile, and I suppose it has been a very long time since you've met one of my kind. I imagine you humans are still very short-lived. How sad. Oh, well. To answer your question, we chose to cease our efforts with the Alliance of Three Stars when it seemed that there was no longer any threat to our Earthlings. I am pleased to see that you, from outside the Slave Shield, survived. You seem healthy. To be honest, there's not really any reason to talk to these people. We really don't need them for anything. So let's just say goodbye. Goodbye, Arulu. Farewell, child. Well, it was a change. It was a good change. At least it wasn't a Slanger probe. Oh no, this is the proper race here. What will happen? Is it going to be a Slanger probe? No! We just... Oh, that was so close. And now it's May the 19th. I bet you like, we'll be too slow to even get to the portal. Like 20th will just tick over and then we'll miss it. Oh my god, please. Oh, that's the case. Oh, Slanger probe, you are going to die. My friend, for not letting us go through the portal. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Must brave target into component materials. Uh, now another thing about on the subject of time, I just thought about something very quickly. Is that um, I've read actually a little bit of the Groom Groombridge catalog, um, which is actually 
a sort of book based on uh, on star control. It's pretty cool actually. And I read a little bit of it, and um, it sort of talks about uh, there's like a battle in Korra, and it like talks about how you know, they had 30 minutes to get out of the way of the um, of the spinning disc and, st and stuff like that. So and it, make, it made me think that you know in the game a day is like what is it 10 seconds 15 seconds I can't remember and um, of course obviously if we assume that the uh, the time in the battles is the same um, then it means that like it takes maybe two seconds for that um, missile from the from Fufo to get to the uh, to the probe so in reality it takes like you know a long time oh my god we just we just made it there that was really close Ooh, that was actually, I told you it would be close. Um, so there we go, let's save the game, and we are finally, there we are, in quasi space. We're pretty much safe here, which is nice, but we need to now go over to Beta Core V. This is the reason we went here, not to get the portal yet, because of course we, uh, not to get the um, portal spawner, because of course we need to go and get the uh, the warp pod from the Urquan wreck. But um, I'm just using quasi space for now. To just sort of shortcut to Beta Corvi, because it's actually quicker to just go through this portal here, and you actually make quite a lot of ground if we look at the star, mace, a star map now, because you see we've actually made about a quarter of the star map, maybe a third, and uh, now we are much closer to Beta Corvi, and we can get these uh, probes destroyed even quicker. I can't wait.